Hi everyone, it is Helen. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. In my last video, I was able to share how you can learn AWS for free, whether you are an aspiring cloud engineer, DevOps engineer, or solutions architect. I was able to also share free resources that can help you to get started. So in this video today, I'll be sharing five cloud project ideas, including some resources that can also help you to build those projects. I'm believing that this project, once you implement them, it can help to enhance your portfolio and get you hired faster because you have a lot to talk about during your interviews. So that will actually help you to stand out. It will be like a recommendation and some guide that can help you to execute those projects. If you're ready, I'm actually ready. Let's get started. First one is deploy a three-tier web application in the cloud. Now, what is the three-tier architecture? A three-tier architecture actually is a software architecture pattern that divides an application into three logical tiers or layers. So I'll be using these words interchangeably. I can call it tiers or layers. So let's see how these layers are. In the first layer, we call it presentation tier. Okay, the second one we call it application tier and lastly we have a data tier. Okay, so these are the logical grouping of this application and with this three tier architecture you'll be providing some solutions and I'm going to mention the solutions you'll be providing building this um, project, be it a personal project or in your organization. The first one is scalability. So with scalability, you know, you'll be having an infrastructure that is scalable and it can actually withstand um, traffic or high demand. So it can be able to scale up or scale down depending on the demand. All right. The second solution we'll be talking about is high availability. So having a highly available infrastructure is very, very crucial, you know, because you don't want to be having complaints here and there that your application is not available and all that stories. OK, so this is the second solution. Let's see the third one. Fault tolerance. You should be able to have an infrastructure that is fault tolerant. Okay. The fourth one is security. You and I know that security is very, very important. You don't want to have an environment that is not secured, right? Even in your home, I know you are careful about the security part of your surroundings and all that. So it is very, very important to secure your application. You don't want to have an infrastructure that is very vulnerable okay let's see the fifth one we have improved performance of course when you implement all this when you have your treated architecture it should be able to improve performance depending on how you set this up okay so with this once you build this project actually you should be able to have these solutions all put together so this will actually help to you know keep your infrastructure reliable and give users a better user experience okay so deploying a three-tier web application in the cloud can provide you with hands-on experience in designing implementing and managing cloud-based solutions which is actually a valuable skill you can add to your skill set as a solutions architect a cloud engineer or a devops engineer so some of the services you're seeing here are actually services you can make use of you know so um something like vpc you, you actually need to build your custom vpc all right you can also make use of amazon ec2 Amazon RDS for your database, Elastic Load Balancer, which can help to balance traffic across your servers. Okay, I will also share a blog where I publish the project because yeah, I published this project I think sometime last year. So I will provide this the, this, the the link to the blog so it can help you execute this project. I'll be sharing it in the description below. All right. The second one is host and run an application on AWS using lift and shift strategy. Now, hosting and running an application on AWS using 
flip and shift strategy involves moving an existing application from on-premise environment to AWS without any significant changes to the application's uh, architecture. Okay, so it's just like you lifting something and then you're shifting it to another place. Okay, you can just use that concept to understand this. So there is no redesigning. You just have to lift the application from on-prem to AWS cloud. So basically, this strategy is used when organizations want to move to cloud quickly with minimal disruptions to the existing architecture or to the existing application. Now, we actually have some services you can use while implementing this project, okay? So, you can use Certificate Manager for your SSL certificate, which can help your server, you know, for more security in your application. You can use Amazon EC2, Auto Scaling Group, Amazon 53, a load balancer, as well as, uh, you know, S3 bucket for your, for your storage, all right? Now you may want to ask, what skills do I gain? How do I benefit executing this application? How can it add to my portfolio or my knowledge? Now I will show you the skills you will start to gain if you implement this project. Moving an existing application to AWS using lift and shift strategy offers several benefits including reliability, cost effectiveness, scalability and also the ability to leverage a wide range of AWS services and features to enhance application functionality and performance, okay? So you're sure to gain reliable, cost-effective and scalable infrastructure if you implement this. So it's a good way or is actually a great point to talk about in your interview because, you know, it's not easy setting up a scalable, reliable, cost-effective infrastructure, right? It's not easy, okay? <laughs> but don't be scared, it's not difficult. Let's see the second benefit or the skill you stand to gain. Building this project can provide you with valuable hands-on experience in cloud computing. Uh, basically AWS service because we are, I'm actually focusing on AWS right now, but you can use um this project ideas in a, in another you know cloud provider okay so you also learn migration strategies security and troubleshooting Commend this project if you're really looking for if you're really, really looking forward to gaining hands-on experience now number three is build and set up a complete ci cd pipeline in the cloud Okay, so this project is actually a great addition to your portfolio. Imagine building a complete CI CD pipeline in AWS from scratch to finish. This is a great, in fact, I highly recommend this. All right, so you need to build this project because um, it actually involves you, it involves using quite some AWS services, and that is a, is a great. Um, is a great cap actually okay so building and setting up a complete ci cd pipeline in the cloud involves automating the software development process from the initial code commit to production um, deployment using cloud-based tools and services a complete ci cd pipeline includes several stages such as building testing packaging deploying and monitoring the application so if you execute this project you actually be the, you you see how developers can commit their code to AWS code commit and then from code commit there will be a trigger I mean after setting up the whole pipeline process and all that once there is a push you will see a trigger in your pipeline and there will be a build and testing um, stage and from there your application will be deployed to your environment and the whole process will, you know, I will really love you to execute this project because it's, 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 it's a great one. You can add to your resume. You can talk about it in your interview because please don't talk about what you've not implemented. It's not going to help you. So I will highly recommend this project for you. Build your portfolio. Building a project in this domain can provide you several benefit okay it will help you demonstrate your ability to automate the software development process 
using modern cloud based tools and services so, so this will require a deep understanding of software development cloud computing and it will also help you learn a lot about devops practices Setting up a complete CI/CD pipeline in the cloud will help to showcase your skill and ability and also help you to learn how to design a scalable, secure and reliable software delivery workflows. Okay, so you'll be configuring and integrating various cloud-based tools and services such as AWS Code Pipeline, AWS Code Build, AWS Code Deploy, Elastic Beanstalk if you want to make use of the service, AWS Lambda, even CloudWatch and some of other, some of other AWS resources. Now, building and setting up a complete CI/CD pipeline in the cloud can provide valuable experience in several areas, including DevOps, okay? Because you learn how to design and implement modern DevOps practices in the cloud. And now the second one is cloud computing. I'm pretty sure you want to learn, you want to, you know, have hands-on experience in the cloud, okay? That's why you're watching this video. So, it will help you to make various um, make use of various AWS services, alright, such as EC2, Amazon S3, AWS Lambda, and some other resources. Let's see the third one, continuous integration. It will help you to learn how to implement continuous integration, automating the build and testing process of your application. The fourth one is continuous deployment. So this will help you learn how to automate the deployment process of your application to various environments using tools like AWS Code Deploy. The fifth one is monitoring and logging. So while setting up this pipeline, you actually have an option to also set up um, logging and monitoring. So you can make use of Amazon CloudWatch or AWS S3 for that. Now the fourth one is host a static website in AWS using AWS um, S3 bucket. Okay, you can use Route 53, Certificate Manager, and CloudFront. So this is actually a project that I've shared in this. Um, I've shared this in my channel actually. So I'll be providing a link to this project. It's actually um, it is in a playlist. Okay, so you want ensure you watch the videos execute this project because. This project alone can you can make use of in this project you can use S3 buckets, Route 53, Certificate Manager, and CloudFront. And let's see what this project entails. What will you need to build this project, if I may ask? Hosting a static website in AWS using S3 Bucket, Route 53, Certificate Manager, and CloudFront involves creating a highly scalable, secured, and cost-effective solution to hosting a static website. Have you hosted a static website before? Even if you have and you've not made use of these services, I highly recommend you try this project. Okay, A static website typically consists of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, images, and other static content that does not require server-side processing. So this project will help you showcase your ability to design and implement scalable, secured and reliable web hosting workflow. So this involved some configuration and integration with um, various AWS services such as um, S3 Bucket, Route 53, Certificate Manager and CloudFront. So if you ask me, I would say that this is an excellent way to demonstrate your skills in AWS cloud computing, web hosting, networking, and security. So it can provide you with a valuable experience in addressing reward challenges faced by modern web hosting teams, um, such as reducing costs, improving performance, and ensuring high availability in your infrastructure. The fifth one, which is actually the last but not the least, is rearchitecting web app on AWS Cloud, which is also known as refactoring with AWS. What is this all about? Rearchitecting a web application on AWS Cloud, also known as refactoring with AWS, 
involves redesigning the application's architecture to take advantage of AWS services and best practices. This approach is used to boost agility, improve business continuity, and reduce cost by optimizing the application's performance, scalability, and security. Please, before we continue, if you're yet to subscribe, kindly subscribe to this channel because I've got a lot to share with you guys. We have projects to build, we have a lot of hands-on tutorials, and many you know knowledge in the cloud and devops space okay so you don't want to lose or miss out on any of those videos so please subscribe and click on notification bell so you don't miss out let's continue building a project in this domain can you know provide you with several benefits it can add to your portfolio, help you gain a job faster. It will demonstrate your ability to design and implement complex application architecture that take advantage of AWS services such as AWS Lambda, Amazon RDS, and Amazon Elastic Load Balancing. I remember, you know, I remember that the application I use for in this project is a Java application okay so refactoring with aws actually involves several steps let's see these steps the first one you have to analyze the existing architecture and identify areas for improvement secondly there is a redesigning sorry there is a designing and you know you'll be designing a new architecture that takes advantage of aws services and best practices the third one is developing and testing the new architecture and once this stage is done the fourth stage is now you know migrating the application to the new architecture and lastly monitoring and optimizing the application's performance scalability and security now in your application you may have a front end and a back end and um in your front end because okay when i executed my project i had a front end and back end and in my front end there is a virtual machine and you know that was a tomcat server actually and i had application load balancer to help balance the incoming traffic across my servers i also made use of auto scaling for you know to help my to help scale my servers and i also use AWS um, S3 for storage and then my back end this is what it looks like so I use RDS instance you know RDS in AWS I use active MQ I use elastic cache I use route 53 I use CloudFront and that is that so that is it for the project ideas i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe if you're yet to do so and click on notification bell so you get more updates and notifications each time i upload a new video so i wish you all the best because i actually want the best for you i hope you get your dream job but you need to just put in the required work and all that please if you have any question feel free to share the question on the comment below and i'll also be sharing some resources that will point you to some of this project please feel free to connect with me on linkedin i have a link on my channel that can lead you to my linkedin page okay let's stay connected i wish you all the best see you in my next video thank you and bye